The camera is so good. I'm, I'm always like upset. I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor right now. So let us get to the room and let's get to recording because I really want to show you these features. Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to share some tips on how to vlog better, how your videos are going to be great high quality using the Sony ZV-1. Which This camera is specifically designed for vloggers and content creators. So it has a lot of features that are perfect for creating high quality content. I got a comment from someone who asked me what my settings for the Sony ZV-1 was. So I'm going to share with you the basics of the camera my settings and my equipment and all of the things that it takes me to actually make a video for YouTube so let's get to know the camera a little bit and let's get into the basics of the camera and I'm gonna switch over into my iPhone recording so that you can show you all of the settings for the camera now this is a 4k camera this is what I use and I'm gonna just set it here then you might have seen this in my other video that I use the Boya mic. I still use it. Still thinking about upgrading, but it's good for what it is. And I've kind of been lazy, so I keep using this. It's a tripod that came with it originally. And so that goes into the socket hole. This is how my setup looks like. Another big competitor is the Rode one. Our microphone plug here. I put it in there and now it is almost ready to use. Remember, we have to turn it on, which I always forget to do, but that's another lesson for another day's setup. This is what it looks like um, from the front, from the side. And then the essentials that I use with this camera, I typically try to record during daytime to have great lighting, soft lighting, natural lighting. I got this backup charger. Now, this is a game changer. I literally, I've been suffering for about a year before I actually got this which comes with three backups. You plug it in here, and now you go from 30 minutes of recording to about two hours of recording, because this is an extra hour and a half of recording time right here. This, this is typically the one I've been using recently, 512 gigabytes, so that I can record for a long time without issues. Just gives me like almost three, four months of recording our long videos all the time. I typically use the Seagate portable drive. It comes with recovery for the hard drive if you ever lose stuff. I haven't had to use it, thank God, but it's nice to know you have this. And as you can see, I am recording this video on my iPhone 13 Pro Plus, which is actually what I recorded on for about a year and a half before I got my camera. You record with your iPhone, and if you want me to show you those settings on how I record with my iPhone, let me know. But for now, I'm just kind of going through some of the buttons here so you know what it is that they do. So this is the mode button. This is where you select the shooting mode that you want to use, which I'll get into the types of mode that you can use later. And we have our record button, which is clearly this big old mark, even though this is also a big thing, but this is your zoom. This is our record button. It's red, it's easy to find and touch. You'll find it easily. It's a different button from this one, even though this is big too, but it's easy to find. You press to start and you press to stop recording. But this is actually our zoom lever. This is used to zoom in and out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's used to zoom in and zoom out. And at the very top says C1, which is a custom one button to display the focus and defocus. So when I go to my front screen and I press that custom one button, the option to focus, the option to focus and defocus show up. The recording lamp or the self timer lamp, if you have a self timer going and this light is on, it will count down for you as well as let you know when you're recording because right now we are recording so it's letting us know that here as well. It's actually our microphone, our internal microphone. This is actually where it happens. And in fact, if you had the whole set, it comes with a muffler for this area here to help with sound. So this is for sound. This is the internal sound that comes with it. This is where those accessories would be tied up to. And I'm gonna show you my accessory as well and what I use with that. Obviously, this is our lens, okay? This is our monitor slash touch panel. For certain functions, you can touch it. Like you see here, I just touched it. It is touchscreen, but not all functions are touchscreenable, if that makes sense. This here is our microphone jack. This other plug right here is for your micro USB or your multi USB terminal. And obviously this is where you would plug in to charge the camera. Here is your HDMI jack. 
in case you need to plug in a cord to this and you want to post this or show your images on another screen this would be the jack for that this is our menu option here is the control wheel as you can see it's a wheel it moves up and down we have the fn the function button c2 which is another custom button but also our trash button obviously you have our playback button which goes into our other recording at the bottom of the camera we have here the slot where our battery goes through and actually i'm using a replaceable backup battery and i have my sd card which i use this 512 gigabyte sd card i record a lot of hour long video so i need something really long so that's the sd card and battery slot this is the tripod socket i'll be connecting the tripod that came with it on i'll be going through the basics my personal setup for my own camera and how you could eventually take it and make it your own and so now i'm actually going to go into my settings um switch this over this is what i have for now use it if i ever update my settings from this I will re-record another video and I will obviously share that with you because we should all be succeeding together. That is the whole point of this video in the first place. This is for new content creators so you don't have to go through all that rigmarole that I went through trying to find the best settings. All right, so my computer is going crazy. All right, I put mine on manual exposure. That's my setting. Same exposure, remember how I said we have a manual exposure shows up under my menu because I have a fast track menu here. Now, I am gonna go to autofocus dry speed meaning that how quickly does it autofocus i want it to be as quick as possible so i go up with fast and i want this to be the autofocus to be tracking sensitive this is the tracking sensor i want it to be very responsive i don't want it to be standard the focus mode now i have it as continuous autofocus you can go with different kinds of autofocus i like it to be continuous this is also my setting for this page so if you want to kind of go through that this is my soft skin effect. Now I do have my soft, soft skin on. Then we have our product showcase, which is on. Product showcase means when I put my hand in front of the camera, does it zoom in like this, kind of like that. And everything else is blurred in the background. And I have that on, as you can see here. So now this page is super duper duper important. Make sure you go into your 4K. There's no need to go to HD, there's no point. Just do 4K and move it along. Now, camera shoots in 30 or 24 frames per second. I like to go and use a 30 frame per second at 100. I do use ISO, but I typically like to keep it at 60, which really helps my quality and I like that. Now, some of those audio settings will change once I put my external mic into it. So some of those uh, functions will not show up. And then I do, if you case you notice, I do keep my rule of thirds on. And I like that because I want to kind of know that I'm centered. This is a custom keys. Now this is where you could create your custom buttons. You can send anything from this camera right to your phone, right to your computer, right to, because it has an internal Bluetooth system. So don't forget to go out there and create amazing, amazing content. I can't wait to see what you create. Remember, the most important thing is to have fun and experiment with all of the things that you're given. Comment and let me know what other things you would like me to show you, whether it's my other setups, whether it's editing. Until next time, 